Hi everyone, my name is Lukman and I'm on the integrations team at Paystack. In this video, I'll be showing you how to send invoices to your customers when their subscription renewal fails. Say you run a subscription business and your customers pay you monthly for services rendered and your customers have already subscribed to a plan for recurring billing. You set up your subscription using one of our tools. This could be via a payment page, a plugin in your website, or direct API integration. Um, so every month, your customers are expected to be charged at a given date. Um, however, a renewal could fail for any number of reasons, such as insufficient funds, bank errors, expired card, etc. And if this happens, as a business, you need to recover this lost revenue and let the customer know that a charge attempt has failed and you want them to retry using any of the channels available on the checkout um, so they are not disconnected from this service. We'll be using Zapier to set up the automation. If you are not familiar with Zapier, Zapier is a tool that helps you automate work by creating workflows um, and connecting one or two ap different applications together. We'll be setting up an, an automation on a subscription plan such that whenever a customer's renewal fails, um, an invoice, an email is, is automatically sent to the customer, letting them know that you try to charge them, but it failed for so and so reason. And you, then you can also include a payable invoice in the email for the customer to reattempt the payment. So let's dive right into it. Um, this is the Zapier home page. This is the dashboard. And here I'm going to choose, so make a zap. The application will be starting with a space stack. Um, subscription renewal. So choose an account. If you have not connected your account, you'll be required to copy and paste in your secret key. But I have connected my account, so let's just go ahead this when all status is failed and then continue so let's test the trigger see if this is set up Right, so now we have this example of a field subscription renewal. So here you have the status field, you have the plan and every other detail concerning the customer here. So continue. So the app we'll be connecting it to as well would be Paystack again. Action should be send simple invoice. So that's what we want. We want them to we want to send them an invoice for them to make the payments in their email. Same account as we chose earlier, boom boom industries. Right, so let's confirm this real quick. All right, so that so the email would be so if you search here, the email pr provided by the piece that actually gave the first name as well, also the last name. Sorry. Amounts So we have the amounts here Currency It's Naira So the description, this basically be what you want, the description you want in the email 
um, text. So I could, for this high dummy make this as detailed as you would want to but it failed so you have the gateway response here to also let you know the reason why the renewal failed Con Great. I customer, we tried to charge you, but it failed with this. It's because it's dangerous service. Kindly pay this one-time invoice of this amount. Sounds about right. Um, now that we have that set up, we could um, let's go ahead and test that. And continue. An invoice was just sent to Paystack now. Right. So before we um, turn this on, um, let's do a w one last test to check. So I'm going to replace this email field with an email um, I have access to now. So, so just ensure that we are receiving the right invoice. Right. So I'll just had code this for the purposes of testing. Okay. So I'll check my inbox. Refresh that. Ah, uh, now we have that peer stack permanent request. Try to charge you as with, so you could edit this copy as you would like to, and if he clicks on pay now, it would be redirected to the checkout to complete his payment. Right, perfect, just as expected. So um, last step before we um, end this, so let me, so you need to revert this back to the customer email that is actually coming from our trigger. So email, done. And now we're all set to turn on our zap. Perfect. 
And that's it. Our zap is on. Um, and that's all, guys. Um, so li- for a quick recap, what we just did, uh, so you run a subscription business. Uh, so whenever you want, f- because your subscription renewals could fail for a, also a, re- a number of reasons, you want to give your customers the ability to try again. To, if a payment attempt should, f- if a charge attempt fails, you want to give them the opportunity to try again so you could recover some of those lost revenue. So we set up our automation in Zapier such that whenever the renewal fails, an email, an email with a payable invoice is automatically sent to the customer where they can click pay now to complete their payment. And that's it. Once you have this set up, it's continuing to run, listening for new, listening for failed subscriptions and send them that email. Uh, so that's the end um, of this video. Just to point out, so in the description for this video, we'll be adding a Zap template for what we just did in this setup. So if you, you could just um, plug and play, f- just fill in your details, connect your Paystack account, and you're all you are right, set to go. Um, this video is also part of a series. We have other videos showing you interesting ways to set up business automations using the Paystack Zapier integration. Um, if you have any questions or you're having issues setting up your own automation, please reach out to support at or reach out directly from your dashboard and we'll be happy to help. Have a lovely day now. Bye.